Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag oversaw Sunday afternoon's chastening 6-3 Premier League defeat to fierce rivals Manchester City. Manchester United are a team back in crisis again after Sunday's humiliating 6-3 defeat to Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium. The Red Devils were outplayed across the field as hat-tricks from Erling Holland and Phil Foden gave the visitors all three points. Now, the onus will be on them to ensure they bounce back. Manchester United had gone into their match with City full of confidence after winning five of their last six matches across all competitions. However, the Red Devils had no answer as Pep Guardiola's side put in a ruthless display to claim all three points. City were 4-0 up by half-time, with Foden and Holland both bagging braces to get the home fans on their feet. The duo then completed their hat-tricks after the interval. And though United were able to respond via double from Anthony Marshall and terrific strike from Anthony, they were unable to emerge from the clash with anything to their name. There were many bad performers on the day, but Express Sport will now take a look at three players who should be dropped following the showdown. Tyrell Malaysia Tyrell Malaysia has been good for United in recent weeks. But this was a performance that shows the 23-year-old. For all of his talent and potential, still has much to learn. Malaysia was unable to cope with Foden in the first half and United did improve after his substitution, with Luke Shaw coming on in his place. Shaw hasn't always been consistent for United but, at least, shows some promising signs after coming on. Malaysia could do with a demotion for the foreseeable so he can learn from the city debacle, with Shaw now set to step up in the coming weeks ahead. Scott McTominay Scott McTominay has improved in the short time since Ten Hag's appointment. But the Scotland international is still prone to the odd stinker and endured a tour day at the office as City ran riot. With Casemiro watching on, it's now time for Ten Hag to start unleashing the Brazil international from the start of matches. 